What's the most uncomfortable question you can ask someone? How come I wasn't invited? Weren't you pregnant? Uh, I ran into a someone I had seen since she was pregnant. Me house being a mom her oh. I'm not at it. They'll never ask again. I'm as scared a few months ago shortly after telling everyone and now it's an awkward conversation every time I see someone who knew when I'm out drinking. A non-pregnant woman how far along she is. Where's my hug? Lol this gives me some flashbacks. After work on a Friday I was saying goodbye to ones of my friends and I gave her a hug. Here comes Brett hey, where's my hug so I give him the biggest bear hug, the kind that traps their arms at their sides, and picked him up off the ground. There's your hug Brett. My friend said he didn't ask much after that, but you bet your balls I'd tell Brett hey Brett, I got your hug right here buddy with outstretched arms. He would give me an uncomfortable look like you gross. Yeah Brett, that's how you're making everyone feel. As a woman I very much appreciate this response. Why does everyone hate you so much? I hate this one so much. I lived in a small town so everybody knew everybody. High school was rough, I didn't know how to stick up for myself and soon became the scapegoat for bullies and rumors. Once our SR. Year hit people matured a little and started being nicer to me. I made a lot of friends suddenly and all of them would ask why does everybody hate you you're not like they say. It was awkward because most of those people were the ones contributing to the rumor spoiling. I don't know. Why did you? Gods I wish I could go back in time and ask a few people that. If you come in the back office with me right now, just you and me, are you gonna be cool about it, or be a snitch? Asked by my old boss at a grocery store, he just was offering me shots off fireball because it was almost closing time on New Year's Eve, but that phrasing sounded kinda fishy. Sounded super fishy. I'm not sure if it counts. But if someone asks you, hey, can you move over a seat so I can be next to my friend? Especially if you thought the person asking you was your friend. Along the same lines, when at parties with friends I was always asked to take pictures of people but no one ever asked to be in a pic with me. It stung. Okay I have this issue. Friends always post pictures on Instagram at football games, parties, etc. so I know they take pictures. But whenever I'm with them no one ever offers to take pictures with me. And so I feel like I have to force people to begrudgingly take pictures with me. And usually I suggest we get a picture and people act like they forget. Once at a party everyone was taking pics. This girl specifically, who I was friends with although not that close, was taking pictures with everyone. Someone pulled a phone around the time she was next to me and asked us to smile for a pic, which I did. And she covered her face. Are we still friends? Or, who's your best friend? Especially when one of your friends asks it. Takes me back to when my best friend casually started talking about how much she wished she had a best friend. At a job interview do I have to do a drug test? You do now. I actually asked this question once and I was told if we tested everybody we wouldn't have enough employees. Lamau. Circa 2005, but not my story personally, this is paraphrased heavily from years of interview WTFS conversations. Dude, this is Silicon Valley. The company founders are at Burning Man this week, as are all the other acid heads, kinksters, stoners, some of the furries, and the guy who did the photos of half-naked fire poi dancers you can see on the wall over there. You're talking to the soberest person in the building except the two guys who are in AA, and even I've got my MMJ card. Um. Don't tell our I said any of that. I mean, they're freaks too, but they'd be weirded out that it came up at all. TL, Doctor, West Coast Best Coast. That's the sorta of under the table shit I have at my current work. I work at a film studio, and when everyone clocks off they turn into animals. Just have a casual conversation about anything, corona, politics, grandparents and ask immediately afterwards anyway how's your sex life. The room has taught me a lot about life. Ha ha, what a story Mark. Oh hi. I saw an old high school acquaintance at a club once. She had always been super skinny in HS but this night she had a very pronounced belly. I assumed since she had always been skinny and only had grown in her belly that she was pregnant. She was not. Editing this after my BF insisted that I tell the whole story. I can't remember exactly how I asked her, but
but she replied in a half laugh that she wasn't pregnant. Me, thinking she was joking, replied oh just a big lunch then. While patting. Her. Stomach. Then I laughed and walked away. My cousin later told me what I had done and informed me that she had a one-year-old and hadn't lost her baby weight. I will never do that again. As a male I operate under a policy that the only time that you can ask a woman if she's pregnant is if she is in active labor and the baby is crowning, and even then you must exclaim surprise that you had no idea. That is a really excellent policy. The one time, the one time I asked, it was so ducking obvious that she was pregnant, skinny all over, huge pregnancy belly. But she wasn't. Doctor, in front of parents, are you sexually active? Now that's when you start bragging haha. Your dad fist bumps you when your mom isn't looking. Is it in yet? I was starting in four on a patient. She said something like, I was going to ask you if it was in yet, I didn't even feel it. I wanted to say something like normally this is the worst thing for a man to hear so bad. But you know, professionalism. You'll feel a little prick. TF2, Achievement Unlocked. Have you seen our toothbrush? Did you bathe properly today? This is a conversation I had to have with a co-worker once. His smell was very distracting for everyone in the office. Guy's wife had died and he just sort of stopped taking care of himself afterward. A couple of us got him set up with a therapist. He left the company shortly after for a less stressful job, but I saw on FB a while later the guy is doing much better. Good to hear he is doing good now. Are you uncomfortable? If they say no, then you should reply with, do you want me to make you uncomfortable? While unbuckling your belt. Then when they panic and say no you take off your belt and put a new one on. Depends on the person. For a lot of women, it's so when are you guys going to have a baby? I literally had to tell my mill that we're trying and that we haven't used protection for some time now. Embarrassed her enough to back off the topic forever, she's very old school. I've been ejaculating massive loads of semen into your daughter's vagina for several months now. The way to combat an awkward question is to provide an even more awkward answer. Best of luck to you too, by the way edit. Please don't follow this advice. It's a dumb joke on the internet and you risk ruining your relationships with loved ones if you actually follow my suggestion. Don't do that. If you make it awkward enough, nobody is going ask questions. Not necessarily. If your mill is a psychopath like mine, she'll probably laugh it off and then later take offense, call your wife and yell at her at the top of her lungs for two solid hours how offensive that was and how I should be ashamed and how horrible of a person I am for attacking her like that unprovoked and expecting me to apologize. Then after two weeks of this, She'll call your parents yelling at them how disrespectful and shameful you are and that they should force you to undergo clinically assisted pregnancy. Two more weeks and she'll be yelling at your wife again, telling her she's going to sell the house and move to Australia because everybody hates her. Then she'll swear she's going to break your windows if you don't pick up the phone. Then you call her and she'll not pick up. Then you meet her in person and she's like sup, how's the baby coming along? Rodley Specific why are you so quiet? What do you think of me? Whenever someone says this to me I'm always so puzzled and awkward about the whole thing. What do you want me to say? What do you want me to say? Well, there's the divide. Many people ask the question more implying tell me something that will make me feel you're sincere, but will flatter me versus tell me what you literally think. People like to be valued but not measured, seen but not observed, heard but not scrutinized, understood in the moment but not understood in totality. The former makes them feel significant. The latter reduced. I usually just give them a basic thing I like. I just try and be as sincere as possible. But what if you don't like them? Moonwalk my way out of the situation. 